Hey guys, welcome back. John here. And uh, yes, I am back. Uh, I was actually at work uh, these past few days. Made around well, over 400 bucks. So uh, I am buying a new laptop, just so you guys know. So there may be some recordings coming off of that. Uh, I had to delete my Minecraft thing, so let me make sure all my stuff set back the way I want it. I don't know what I want that set as. Maybe try this one. I don't know, it didn't change anything. Oh well. Okay, so I know this is a few days late. I was trying to make this really, really super cool, awesome, mega, amazing thank you thing for the thousand subscribers. And, uh, or 100 subscribers, not a thousand, I'm not there yet. Not that good. Uh, but 100 subscribers uh, video. And it failed. Um, I kept getting sc so screwed up with the, the way the redstone had to be put together between the pistons. I think there's some glitches with the pistons. So uh, hopefully that gets worked out. Maybe he'll release a 1.7.3. So if he doesn't, then... Oh. Okay, oh yeah, sorry about that. There was a little break there. Uh, I got a call on Skype. Uh, so hopefully they release a new uh, a new thing, a new update. So 1.7.3. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Um, sorry, I had to take a sip of my drink. Drinking Dr. Pepper. Sponsor? No, I'm kidding. Uh, but um, yeah. So hopefully he'll release one for some reason. Well, I'll show you this in a minute. So I'm going to skip over that and I'm going to get started. Okay, guys. So let's get started. Uh, so first, I'm just going to premiere the two different types of pistons. So first, there is a sticky piston. And there is a regular piston. A regular piston, as you would probably expect. I'm going to just use iron, just because iron is awesome. Oops. Is. Get rid of that. Okay. So, as you would sp expect, uh, get two of those. A regular piston will push it out and retract and leave it there. So, basically, what I can keep doing. Sorry about my accent, I don't know why I'm doing that is I could basically keep pushing and eventually it would start pushing the mountain. I'm actually, I'm actually gonna do that. Or not. I guess if it's a large enough object it won't do that. But then the sticky piston will push the block out and pull it back. Which is nice if you want to create like a retractable wall or something like that. So, depending on what you want to do is depending on what type of piston you're going to use. So, one way that you can implicate this into your Minecraft experience is... Let me go over here. I'm going to create a hidden door. Uh, or not really a hidden door. But I'm going to create a hidden room type-esque thing in this wall. So I'm going to cut and I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Uh, so I finished the um, secret door. So basically now if I would make this uh, smooth stone, right now it would this would basically just look like a wall, like the side of the cliff. But then what you can do is this switch would most likely be up here on the wall like a button, but I just have a switch that just runs underground and runs to the two sides. You flip the switch, and now you can walk in. So I'll go back here. So I wanted to make my room back here. Okay, so say I had a room back here. Then I could just come over here, flip the switch, and now nobody can get into my room unless they break the wall. But you'd have to be pretty rude to break my wall. So that's how you do that. Uh, it's, I think it's very, very cool. But I guess that's up to what you guys think. Okay, 
So the next thing that we're going to move on to is uh, another thing they added, and that is you can only light TNT now with your uh, with either a switch like redstone or some sort or fire. So as you can see, as I'm hitting it, it's not working. So basically, what you have to do is you have to get a switch. So you just passed the switch down, flip the switch, and then run like hell. Uh, and then it will go, as you can see. Or you can light it on fire, but I'm not going to do that right now. Just because I don't like playing with fire. Um, and then the last main thing that they added are shears. Uh, shears basically prevents you from hitting a sheep to get wool. But it also does a few other things. One thing is it will diffuse TNT. So once you break TNT, it will diffuse it. Another thing is you can break leaf blocks with it. So when I hit this, you'll see that the leaf block falls down. So now you can build with leaf blocks. So I, I guess that's okay. I don't think I would use it. Uh, but as you can see, if I walk up to the sheep, I can beat it, but nothing happens. I have to take my shear, right-click on the sheep, and it drops all the wool. Uh, so that's... I think that's pretty cool, but that's just me. Um, so, I thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.